hello guys and welcome back to the channel we're gonna start by making an egg salad i'm preparing lunch for myself and my husband i'm just gonna keep it in the fridge but i do want to talk to you a little bit about self-care when you're feeling down or feeling overwhelmed and still having to power through it so this video is motivational it's super real because this was a day that i felt like i couldn't get through the morning but um, I'm happy to share with you how I got myself up and out of this vibe that I wasn't feeling and how I got through it, how I got through this day. So stay tuned and let's get started on this egg salad. So like any typical egg salad, you're going to start with hard-boiled hard eggs, onion, celery, salt, pepper, and mayonnaise. So I'm just stirring this up. Later on, you'll see that I stir it up and I put it into the container so that when lunchtime comes around, we'll be able to eat it. Now, I, will, I woke up this day feeling super defeated, super upset because I'm debating whether I should go back to the workforce and... You know, times are tough. I live in New York. Everything's expensive. Um, my husband's a little, I'll be honest with you guys, my husband is a little bit, you know, cranky and we're kind of just like in a funk this week. So I wasn't feeling myself. So I spent the entire morning on the couch, really upset. After I got the kids off to school, I was upset, but I said to myself, I got to get through this. Like, I, it's going to be okay no marriage is perfect no stay-at-home mom routine is perfect and i just really wanted to say you know what i'm gonna get through this how do i do this so what do i need to do first okay i want to eat lunch later even though i'm not hungry now so i got up i made this lunch and i put it in the fridge then i decided okay i need to clean up the kitchen so i cleaned up the kitchen i washed the dishes and then i said okay now i want to take a shower i want to do my hair so you're gonna see me doing that in this video now if you don't have to do exactly what i do you just want to pick at least two or three things that are gonna do good for you later on in the day even though you don't feel like it now so for me that is preparing lunch ahead of time cleaning up the kitchen the best way i can and a little self-care, which is blow drying, washing and blow drying my hair. So that's what works for me. If you guys have an area in your home that you want to clean up, like your kitchen, or even just load the dishwasher, go ahead and do that with me.
this point, I still don't have my dishwasher um, installed, but I do have it finally here in the house. So later on, later, later in the video, you'll probably see me use that. Um, I'm here now just scrubbing the dishes, making sure that I don't leave a dish in the sink. Having a clear, having a clear sink is a very good thing because then you don't feel like you have to do the dishes later. So as much as you don't want to do the dishes, please do your dishes. It's going to do you so good mentally. You're going to know that you don't need to step into the kitchen until the kids get home or until it's time to make dinner or lunch, whatever. Um, so definitely, please, please, please wash your dishes. Clear off that sink. Even if it's a huge pile, get it done because you're going to feel so much better once you get it done. So let's do this together. Now that I'm done with the dishes, I'm just going to pick up this laundry basket. I'm going to put it in my bedroom, fold up the blankets here and the, in the living room, and fix up the pillows. I don't feel like vacuuming, particularly on this day. I'm literally dragging my feet, but I know once I get out, I plan to take a shower and wash my hair, so I know once I come out of the shower and I take a glimpse at my picked up living room and my picked up kitchen, I know it's going to boost my mood in some kind of way towards the right direction versus feeling worse. So I encourage you, please pick up your living room, pick up the floor and pick up the, um, the couches, like fix your pillows and all of that. Now I am moving on to the table. There's just a couple things that we threw on the table this morning. I'm going to put everything where it belongs and I encourage you to do the same thing. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. Finally, I am out of the shower and I'm going to comb my hair, getting ready to blow dry it for the week. Blow drying my hair for the week makes my mornings go a lot smoother and I just love having clean, fresh hair. I know this is something that I'm not going to regret or, you know, taking my time on taking care of me. Self-care is awesome. Uh, while I'm blow drying my hair, I'm going to be listening to a sermon from Charles Stanley. I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, he is my Lord, he's my Savior, and um, I listen to Charles Stanley because he spreads the gospel um, in the best way possible. Just It makes sense, everything he says, and he incorporates scripture, and it's just so encouraging. So um, I encourage you to also, when you're done watching my video, go down to the description and find the link to Charles Stanley and um, look at the channel and listen to the sermons is really really great motivational and it's a great way to get the word in
encouraging you guys to do what it is that you need to do to make yourselves feel better because remember us mamas we do everything for everyone else and barely enough for ourselves so when the kids are at school and your husband's gone he's over there at work or whatever go ahead and pick something that you love to do like me I love to do hair I'm from the Dominican Republic um, and us Dominican girls, we love to do hair. Hair is our thing. <laughs> so um, this is something that I enjoy doing. Even though I was not in the mood to do it, I knew that if I did my hair, it's going to make me feel better. I skipped the makeup. I didn't put any concealer, nothing on. I just knew how to power through doing my hair and getting dressed and cleaning the house a little bit. And I'm telling you, later on, I felt a little better and that's a lot better from when I was actually feeling in the morning so scratch that I didn't feel a little better I felt a lot better and if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be making these videos so thank you so much for joining me today and watching me here now finally I am getting dressed and then I'm gonna head out the door to pick up the girls from school for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in your sweet You're falling Just watch me 
night I poured myself a little coquito uh, which is kind of like a Bailey's kind of drink and now I'm going to make dinner this dinner is super easy so I'm using sweet Italian sausage and the hot sausage I'm just gonna decase this and um, dice them up like so cast iron skillet here I'm gonna add avocado spray I'm being generous with it because I thought it was gonna stick to the pan it um, it worked well but if you want to use olive oil I recommend olive oil next time so I'm just gonna saute this red and yellow onion that I had purchased already diced up for me I needed to use it up so I put that on the hot pan um, and then I put in kale because again this is something I just needed to use up, so I thought, okay, let's put it in. It's kind of like spinach, right? So it has more vitamin C than spinach, so um, getting our veggies in with the pasta uh, doesn't sound so bad. So once it gets like light green, like this so beautiful color, you want to go ahead and add in your sausage. If you don't want to use sausage, you can use beef you can use even chicken like diced up chicken you can use any kind of meat with this pasta dish I'm going to first add Italian seasoning so, um, put a generous amount you want to measure with your heart um, if you don't then it might come out a little bit just tomato sauce only kind of taste so you want to put in that Italian dressing uh, sorry Italian seasoning and then you want to add in a generous amount of garlic sauce I'm sorry garlic powder garlic powder I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. 
saw there I put my pasta to boil I was using rotini um, I love rotini because be, like in all the grooves like all of the sauce kind of just stays in the groove so I like to use that kind and then I'm gonna be adding sweet peas this is optional you don't have to I just have a couple of cans in the pantry that I want to rotate through um, so I'm just adding this in and it really tastes so amazing it cooks down really well and it just is a good vegetable to put into your sausage so we have the onions we have the kale now we have the peas with the sausage all the seasonings so much flavor and then you're gonna combine this with tomato sauce and the pasta delicious so so good the sausage is finally cooked through I had it on the stove for about an hour and a half or more so like an hour and 20 minutes I'm gonna add the tomato sauce I'm gonna combine it very well you don't have to add more Italian seasoning I decided to do this because I like a savory very savory taste to my pasta you don't have to do that I just like to do that me and my husband love flavor um, a lots of flavor actually but let me tell you this came together so well so deliciously you guys can have this on its own like the pasta and the sausage or you could bake some bread and, and have garlic bread with it it's really up to you but let me tell you I had leftovers for two days after this it was amazing I loved it my kids loved it my husband loved it and it was really easy to make Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.